Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash back to stock and unroot your Samsung Galaxy S3. So, you're here because maybe custom ROMs aren't for you or you soft bricked your S3 and you want to go back to stock. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to do that and this particular uh, method does work for other carriers other than the AT&T version which is what I have here. Uh, but the file that I'm using here and the the file that I'll be providing a link to it only works for the AT&T carrier so you're gonna have to find the specific ROM for your carrier this is the stock ROM for the AT&T carrier branded S3 alright so I have the file here and I'm gonna go ahead and unpack it using my favorite program called 7-zip and while that's happening, uh, we're going to need to actually first wipe the phone, uh, the data, and factory settings, all that stuff. We're going to have to wipe it. So if there's data and information here that you need to save, you got to do the proper uh, methods of bagging up your pictures, text messages, information, all that stuff. I don't have anything on here that I want to save. I want to wipe it all out. So we're actually going to go into recovery mode to wipe everything out to do a factory data reset before we actually get to this part here. So let me close this out. And to get into the recovery mode, you can either do the um, um, ROM manager and get into the uh, recovery mode through the app there, but I'm gonna do it manually from an off state here. What you do is you uh, hold the volume up, power, and home key, all three at the same time. And when you see the blue uh, letters up on the top left there, you let go and it's going to go into the recovery mode here, right? And then um, you pretty much just use the volume down key to uh, wipe data, right? And you select, yes, delete all user data. And then we're going to uh, wipe the cache partition right we'll scroll all the way down for that and then uh, if you want you can go to mounts and storage and format the system not really needed but just to be on the safe side you format the system right I mean this shouldn't be too unfamiliar to you because if you've rooted and put a custom ROM on here I'm gonna assume that you already have the drivers and everything installed on your machine to get this um, to be recognized by Windows and stuff like that. So we've wiped everything out, everything's gone, all the settings, everything, data, wiped, clean. All right, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we can actually just take out the battery, shut this off, and we're gonna go into download mode. So I'm taking out the battery here, all right? And then to go into recovery mode, we do volume down, power, and home button. And then you're going to be presented with this menu here where you have to press the volume up. Right? And then now we're in download mode where it says downloading. Okay. So <clears throat> we've unpacked our files. We're going to go to Odin here. We're starting up Odin. We're going to plug in our phone now. So we got this plugged in. We can set this aside. Our phone shows that it's been added here. We're going to go to PDA. We're going to look for our uh, ROM file here. Again, this is for AT&T only. Click on that. Click on open. I'm going to wait while it scans. All right, it's done, it's loaded up. We can leave pretty much everything here, leave it all alone, press on start. Now this particular step here should take about five minutes, five to 10 minutes, shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Once we're done, it's gonna reboot and we're gonna have our stock ROM installed on here. Now the wiping of the data, you can do it after, um, but I like to do it before because you get stuck in a boot loop so you have to get into a recovery mode 
So let's say, for example, you put a ROM on here and you bricked it and you messed it up so much to where the buttons don't work anymore. What you need is a something called a jib, right? J-I-B. I made this one. It's kind of a hack job here. Bought all the parts. I read it online how to make one yourself. And so what you do is that you plug this in to the micro USB port right here and it puts it in download mode. Bypasses the happen to press the key combinations. And so you can find these a better one than this, not all hack job, for about eight bucks online. It's called a jib. It's pretty much, it's a good lifesaver if you've uh, bricked your system to the point where the key combinations don't work and you can't get into download mode so that you can Odin in your uh, ROM here. So definitely pick up one of these if you can. And um, we'll, I'll come back when this is finished. All right, folks, there you have it. It uh, reboots. Now, when it reboots, it'll say the Odin program here will say reset and it'll reboot. You'll be on the Samsung logo for like maybe five minutes. Don't stress out. Don't think that, oh, it's in a boot loop or anything like that. Just let the Samsung logo kind of roll through. It takes about five minutes. And so uh, when you do that, it'll get to the uh, welcome screen here where you can start over and uh, you've got your stock 4.1.1 Jelly Bean ROM on here now. And so hopefully uh, you were successful in doing this. Check out uh, my other videos on how to root and throw on custom ROMs and all that jazz. Uh, thanks for watching, happy new year, and I'll catch you guys later. And um, we'll, I'll come back when this is finished rebooting. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna catch my death. <coughs> <coughs>